Today, our temperature is very close to average 96. The high today, our average high this time of the year should be 95. So we're very close to that, and that's where we're sitting right now at 95 degrees. East winds at 5, holding on the dew point in the upper 50s. Remember that number. It's going to change into tonight. We're down to 85 degrees by 10 by about 11, 83 degrees and into tomorrow morning temperatures in the mid 70s and more of the same on the way. A lot of sunshine in the forecast. We make it up to about 96 degrees tomorrow afternoon with our winds out of the east northeast near about 10 to 15. Satellite right now shows the two tropical storms that we are tracking as we track the tropics. Marco closer towards Louisiana and Laura closer towards Cuba. So the latest with tropical storm Marco now getting the 6 p.m. At Advisory. It is just now at the mouth of the Mississippi River. So that's the update there moving to the west northwest at eight miles per hour. So a little bit of change in that initial position. It will make its way continuing to make its way inland as we go through the remainder of the evening hours downgrading to a tropical depression late tonight and through tomorrow raining itself out continuing to weaken making its way then into southeast sides of Texas. So not a huge threat from Marco. We had a lot of wind shear a lot of dry air with that today. So any of the watches and warnings with Barco were canceled, but now we have new watches and warnings because of Laura. That does include a hurricane watch in effect from near Galveston stretching all the way over to near Morgan City and then the areas in yellow indicating a tropical storm watch that does include just south of Alexandria does include Houston because of Laura's path. Right now, the center circulation is about 40 miles east of the Isle of Youth. It is moving to the west northwest at 20 miles per hour with winds at 60. Now, going through Tuesday into Wednesday, increasing to a category one, then category two hurricane, and then by late Wednesday into Thursday, possibly making its way on shore from anywhere from south central Louisiana to then even possibly closer towards the Houston area, Galveston area, if it takes that far left track. And then we'll continue to make its way inland going into Friday and Saturday. So this this red color indicates the wind shear that is there and what will steer Laura is this big area of high pressure over the west coast over the eastern seaboard. If that starts to build its way back to the west even faster, Laura could start to shift its way back to the west. But right now it looks like the majority of the rain is going to stay its way east of North Texas. We could see maybe an inch of rain in some spots, but the heaviest rain in west sides of Louisiana down to near Beaumont as well. What changes for us? Look at the dew points. Remember I said, remember that number of 59? We're going to see our dew points Thursday in the 70s to the mid 70s by Friday. What that means for you is we're going to be heating up. Our temperatures after we see the cloud cover get out of here that we have low 90s Wednesday, Thursday with those rain chances around. Then jump back up to the triple digits. When you factor in those high dew points, it's going to feel like 105 this weekend.